Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to go about resolving if you're having an issue with your USB flash drive. And it will say device descriptor request failed. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So what we're going to do here is start by opening up the start menu. Type in device manager, best match to come back with device manager listed above control panel. Go ahead and left click on that. Expand the USB controllers, universal serial bus controllers section at the bottom. Double click on it. And then anything here that says device descriptor request failed or link in compliance mode. So again, there's going to be two things you want to look for in here. So it will say unknown USB device and then in parentheses device descriptor request failed as well as link in compliance mode. You want to right click on them and select uninstall device. So again there's going to be two in here potentially up to two. You want to remove both the device descriptor request failed as well as the link in compliance mode. And then once you restart your computer the drives will automatically be reinstalled. And then that should honestly be about it, guys. There really shouldn't be too much more to do with that. You could also potentially go into your power options and then enable fast startup. I have a tutorial about that as well, but that's probably not necessary for this tutorial, so I'm not even going to really waste our time with it. So once you have restarted your computer, you can also try right-clicking on your generic USB hubs and just updating the drivers and then search automatically for drivers. See if there's anything online for them certainly a possibility and it's definitely worth taking a look into and you can see you can also search in Windows Update form too you can also just right click on it and select update driver and then browse your computer for drivers and then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer go ahead and just select your most applicable one in this list there will probably only be one to be honest and you just would go ahead and select next let it install here it shouldn't take very long and then once you're done with that if you did do any updates in here you would want to restart your computer once again and that should honestly be about it guys so as always thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial do hope that i was able to help you out and i do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye